Hello again everybody, and <laughs> this time around I am going to show you how to make some 3D-ish sprites in Carrara. Yeah, Carrara, not Carrera, it's Carrara. Alright, so first, one of the things you want to do is you want to download some models. Or you don't have to use these models, but the two models I'm going to use is the Manticore Razorback and the Starlight 300. And these are models I made over at ShareCG. So if you look for my name at ShareCG, you can find all the models I gave away for free. Yeah, because, you know, I'm a cheapskate, help loading fellow cheapskates. Even though I can't find work doing this, it's pretty good quality stuff. <laughs> and it's free. So, oh well. Anyhow. Now for that, we'll go over to Carrara now. So there we go, Carrara 6 Pro. You can use newer versions, it should work the same, but I got this with a nice magazine deal like a year or two back, and that's what I use. Start a new project, empty scene, like so. And now what we want to do is import file, and let's go to my documents, graphics, and weird I put stuff in objects sci-fi and for player one we will use the starlight 300 I think this will be fine it's default import and yeah, it's taking a while Ooh, it's tiny and import for player two we will be using a manicore razorback I believe that should work okay and the Starlight 300, we'll move off to one side. And now, what do we want to do? We want to go to Director's Camera. And here's the scene camera. Oh, the spaceships are tiny, but that's okay. And we we'll move this. What I want to do is position it. So it's looking down at the spaceship from straight above. And set close. So let's go back to camera one. It's pretty darn close. This is the end core. Yes, it is. <laughs> Anyhow, something like this. We want it centered right over it. And. I'm using hotkeys here. Basically, you want your camera right over your spaceship, like so. And zero that. Zero that. I'm still off a little bit, but that's okay. Basically, you want it centered. There. Sense camera. We go back to director's camera. See how the camera is right over the spaceship? And while this camera is selected, we will do a copy. And we'll do a paste. Now there are two camera ones. I should name this Player One Camera. So let's do that. There we go, player one camera. Because I am going to be using this other spaceship for player one. <laughs> yeah, it's still showing player. 
Name sir. Oh, I bet you know like this object once. Object. Oh, they don't show objects. Weird. And yeah, it should be like player one camera and player two camera. And if we turn on view, show production frame, and it gives you an idea of the production frame. We don't want this rectangular production frame, so we are going to change it by going to render settings, going to output, and we don't need a big render, we need a little bitty render. So probably like 80 or we don't want to have, we want to disable this key proportions. So let's go 80 by 80. Now we can take that back on. Now let's go see how that's square. So try that out. Now see that everything in this box is how it's going to render out. So what we want to do is zoom in. Whoa! Yes. I want the spaceship to come close to edges of the box. Try to center it as best as we can. Like so. This is a player one spaceship. This is the player two spaceship. We want to fill in the box. Oops. It's touchy at this scale. And there we go. Think. Everything has to fit in the box. Alright. So that's the player two spaceship. Oh, the director's cam. <laughs> and we probably want to set up the materials on the spaceships, so let's do that. Here's the player two spaceship. And that will be the mana core. Shading. Since we're only looking at top down view, we only need to see the outside. So I believe the outside is body material. Let's put something on here, it looks kind of cool. So we'll just be quick and dirty and lazy and click on the wizard button. Find some kind of metal shader or something. Green patina. There we go. <laughs> there we go. See how it changed already in the preview? Go back in the render scene. And glass. Same trick as before. Double click the glass, brings up the wizard. Click the wizard button. I find glass. And we'll probably do blue crystal. There you go, it gives it like a tinted glass appearance. And if we go to, oops, this camera you should be able to see a general representation. Let's do a quick render and see how that looks. <laughs> so here's your player 2 sprite. You an idea that's your spaceship. But we want to do player one as well, so. <laughs> Goofing around here. I got the starlight shading the mains. And the glass. Wizard. I'm just going to change this a little bit. <whistles> Wrong way. That's what I want. Tinted window effect. There we go. Oh, 
I know why. So I didn't change my camera. Let's see. Before we do that. <laughs> yeah, it seems roundabout, doesn't it? Alright. Where is the engine pots?